guys, I'm here today to talk about uh, how to install a, what I like to call a poker chip into pretty much any head. I string them in universal heads. As you can see right here, this is a universal spec head. It's got the three right here, three right here, and then six and a half up top. So I just took off one side right here. I've got this side gone pulled out and then I've also got the top pulled out. So what you're gonna want to do is take this, you're gonna do the top first. I like to take my top string and it's gonna be a little difficult because you can see it's just I didn't really I just melted the tip. It's gonna be kind of difficult if you don't do this or what I like to do is um, melt the tip a little bit so it's hard so I can kind of feed it through like a needle and that makes it easier when I'm feeding it through these top leathers right here because if I can get it the right angle like that's gonna be really tough to fit through unless this is really tight or really uh, hard it'll just bend and not go through so let me just melt these real quick I'll change the camera angle for you guys so you can see it let's see So as you can see, I'm just going to melt these real quick. So now I've got kind of a tip going on so where I can like feed it through it like a needle. So see now it's nice and right here, I've got like maybe a quarter of an inch, it doesn't bend. So that's all I'll need for that. So now let's show you how to attach these. So as you can see, there's some loose strings going on over here, just like this, that, that's fine. Just leave that for now. Just make sure that ends up on the bottom when you put this in. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this head and I'm going to feed it through the hole. It's gonna be, a, it's called the teardrop top string, by the way. It's what um, Laxol search shows you how to do. It's, fairly simple. So as you can see, I have many top string holes through here. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So first I'm going to take this and just send it right through to the front, make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to make sure that my leathers are, my leathers are in front and I'm going to, let me see if I can make this so I can, you guys can see it. I'm going to put it into here and push it in and pull it nice and tight. So now it's f through the leather, and I'm just gonna pull it down nice and tight. And this is called the teardrop because the next thing I'm gonna do is move this a little bit, turn it around and feed it back through that same hole and making sure that this leather is up tight against the wall or yeah, against the top of the head at the same time. And I'm just gonna pull it nice and tight Let's see make sure it doesn't like bunch up or anything and it's okay if it kind of widens out a little bit you can fix that later on so I'm just gonna make sure I don't block this or anything so I'm just gonna kind of pull this nice and tight and make sure that you kind of get it low I kind of did it up high you want to get it like see how it's in the middle of that little circle you don't want it up high like right here you want it more like down here or even lower maybe and then once you get that, you just want to take it and pull it nice and tight until it's flush against the head. So you can see it has like, it comes up a little bit and then it keeps the head from, or the ball when you throw it. I like it because it keeps it from hitting this plastic if you want less whip. So the next thing I'm going to do is the next one. So I'm going to go to this hole and do the exact same thing we did before. I'm just gonna feed it right through here, pull it out, make sure it's nice and tight. I like to hold it with my thumb, just put some pressure on there so it doesn't make this one become loose. So I just hold it tight. And now I'm going to feed it through this one. Just like that. And same thing we did before pull it down nice and tight and these ones will kind of already have like a little notch made for the top
top string just because I've done this when I attached it, like when I uh, made the pocket. And so then I'm going to just take it, bend this back, hold it there, and let's see if I can get a good angle on this. And I'm just gonna send it, let's see here, send it straight through, just like I did before. And then pull it nice and tight. Make sure it's all nice and even. Make sure it's not like lopsided or anything, it's like angled one way. Generally it's gonna be angled the way that you're away from the way you're pulling. So I'm pulling this way. That means this is gonna sometimes, it's gonna to wanna to angle that way. As you can see, it kind of is. So I just kinda, of, when I'm doing it, I push it and make sure it's tight when I do that. Then we'll go on to the next two. I don't think you guys will need any description from that one, so I'll just do this quickly. So that one's nice and tight. I want to leave that. And now I'm going to do the last one. I'm just going to feed it through right here. Sorry if my hands block it. It's really hard to do this without putting my hands where I need it to be. And that's the only way you can really see it. I'm just going to feed it through making sure that this gray cross lace piece is on the bottom below this so that I don't get anything tangled up because then you'll have to come back and redo all that. And then finally I'll just feed it through here. Make sure that it's not all angled. It's nice and even. So there you go. There's how you do the top part of the installing the poker chip. I'm just gonna generally I would feed it through with here but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to keep it. And and I'm going to, sorry about that, I'm going to just feed it through right here in this hole instead of doing it right here because I don't want to have to struggle putting this through. Actually, I might be able to just fit it through here. Let me see if I can. So let's see. So yeah, you can kind of see I poke that through. Pull it nice and tight. And then I'm going to tie the knot and just make sure it stays nice and tight. So that's how you do the top string. It's nice and tight along the top. And now I'm going to show you how to do the side wall. So as you can see, I just pulled off one because if I do it twice, it, or if I do it once, you guys should be able to get it. So first thing I want to do, because most of the ones that I have have twists on them. Let me see if I can get this close to the camera so you can see how the twist it goes in a certain pattern all of them are gonna have that pattern where it goes where it goes like this where it goes top it, when it curves it's gonna go like this it's gonna go under and then it's gonna wrap around so it's gonna be let's see from your angle it's it's gonna go over or it's gonna go from under to over so whenever I put these on, or when you get these, make sure that before you put it on, everything has that same pattern. Like those two are the same, this one's the same. I just kind of go through, twist it, and make sure that it's on the right angle. This one's good. And they'll kind of naturally go to that way, so if it feels weird putting it another way, I wouldn't. I would just leave it how it is. So you can see how it's all of these are good to go yeah all these are good so first thing I'm going to do is let me see if I can get this a little bit. I'll just back up there we go alright so I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm going to feed this piece which is making this part of the diamond right here because there's like a little diamond up top for the high roller pockets so this you're gonna want to take this and put it straight through this sidewall right here. I try to put these together as tight as I can and you don't want to make these super tight you want to kind of keep it loose you, like you want it taut but if you tighten it too much you can see it just pulls the entire pocket over so you're going to want it more just like this where there's a little bit of tension still in there but it's still very good. 
So I'm just going to put that through. I'm going to take this and feed it through as well. So, let me see, I might need to grab some pliers for this because I've already got two pieces, or a piece of sidewalk through here. Oh, no. So, as you can see, well, as you could see, you've got this right here. So now you've got your little diamond piece right here. You got this going on. You don't need to knot this yet. Once you attach these pieces right here, then you can because you don't want to put too much tension on it and screw up the rest of it. So just leave these loose until you attach this. So now we'll go to this. I've just got my uh, cross lace. I've just got a piece of cross lace to work with so it's easier. I've got this and so now what I'm going to do is take it and string it just like I would with a normal pocket except for now I'm going to feed one right. Let me see if I can get this on camera. So I've got this one piece and I'm going to feed it right into here melting the tips of these like a little bit longer might be easy make it easier too so see now I've tightened this or I've gotten this inside here and you're gonna want to make sure that these see how on this side everything is either straight or almost straight like this but then it kind of angles you would either want it angled like this or completely straight as you can see if I tried to put this one right here I couldn't because there's a knot there and if I put it there it'd be kind of angled the other way you want it to make sure that it's angled this way if you can't make it straight it'll make the pocket just stay like, it'll keep itself better and it won't get caught and it's just aesthetically more pleasing as you can see this one can kind of move from a straight to kind of an angle once it settles it'll just it'll whatever it was most like used as well it will stay as so like it won't be here if it was always here because it'll break in and the entire cross lace will just stay like that Sorry, I'm not very good at explaining that. So I've got this, and I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna tighten this down so that it's flat, and you're gonna wanna make sure that both of these sides are even. So see how this one and this one are gonna be kind of, you want them pointing in the same direction mainly. So this one I'm going to tighten down. I'm gonna skip one and tighten it down. So I'm probably gonna go right here is what it looks like yeah so I'll just go like this pull it through and then I'll just do my normal do your normal little lock whatever you guys like to do I'm not good I have no idea what the terms are what the SI and S mean and all those so I just do that which I don't know how I've gotten this far in stringing it since I don't know how to do those but so I've got this and then the next one I'm going to try to do the same thing, or it can be a little angled because that was that one that kind of shifts. So I'm going to do the same thing, making sure that this is in the correct like twisted position and going to send it right through here, pull it through, making sure to make making sure that nothing gets all messed up when I pull through. And then this is going to be another skip, so I'm just going to send it through like I normally would just stick it right through here and pull it through and making sure that these are nice and tight because you don't want to have anything shifting other than the cross lace a little bit because if you have this shifting then it adds another variable in which you don't want so then next I'm going to make sure that this one's twisted properly which it is and let's see I'm just using the other side as a guide okay so I'm just going to take this and send it through and basically you want to do whatever is more comfortable in your head. If you don't have very many string holes, you can fit more or less onto the same one. It's all just how many holes you have on your head. So fit it through. I'm going to put this in. Or making sure, if you, as you can see, some of them might require a double. So where I have a, there's one on each side. So there's a one right here, and then there's another one, and then there's another one. But then I have two on the same one. You're going to want to feed them through at the same time. So let's see. I have one, two, this is going to be another single, and then these two right here are going to be a double. So they're going to be together, so just watch this. So I put this through right here, make sure nothing gets all tangled up, tighten it down, make sure I like to crank it, it makes it easier to tighten down, so now this is nice and taut. And now we have these two left, let's see if I can get you guys a good angle, so I've got these two. 
Sorry, my, I'm just using my iPad again because the previous camera was not doing too well. It You lose quality if you want volume, which I'd rather have you guys be able to see what I'm doing, even though my hands block it most of the time. So I'm going to just feed this through again, just like I normally would. Just kind of pull that through, make sure that's nice and taut. And then I'm going to do it again with this piece, making sure that this is twisted correctly, which it is. And I'm going to stick it right through the next one, making sure that both of them stay the same twist. And then I'm just going to put it in the next side wheel hole that I use. And as you can see, it starts to form almost an angle. After that, you're just going to take, it's going to be another double right here. So I'm just going to take the next two. Let me see, I'm trying to find a good angle for you guys. It's going to end up being like this. So you're going to go like this. It might be good, actually. So you're going to go like this. And send it through this one first. It's so hard to do this on camera. If this, isn't, if this isn't very good for you guys, once I get a better camera, I'll redo this, okay? I might be getting a GoPro or something soon, as soon as I save up enough money for it. So I'm just sending it through here. Pull it nice and taut. Make sure that if, like, your sidewall twists or something, that you pull it out by hand. Don't just keep jerking on it, or else you might screw up something in the traditional that you just wouldn't want to screw up. And then I'm going to send it through one more. Just like this. And then I'm going to tighten it down. And pull itself through. So you gave me a little trouble. Alright, so oops. So you're just going to take it, send it through, pull it nice and tight. And then you just got one more. This one is just going to be a single by itself, so I'm just going to send it through, put it, send it through, I mean, put it down into the side wall, pull it through, make sure it's nice and tight, and then I'm going to just send it through right here, and knot it, and that'll be it for attaching the sidewalls. So sorry about these angles, guys. I just can't find a good one. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a basic knot and tie it in. And sorry for how long this video is. I just realized it's like going on 18 minutes now. I'll try to keep them shorter, but this is kind of a descripting video, descriptive video. So as you can see, it's now installed in, but you still got some other things to do. Like remember these, you gotta pull these in. Make sure like you can kind of see what's the correct tension, what isn't. You don't want this kind of pulled too far over like that. You wanna make it so where this is just kind of even with the rest of it. You can see what's natural. So I've got these right here and then you're just gonna knot them. I'll just tie them together. Just a simple little knot. So here's, there's that, so now as you can see it kind of forms a little diamond, it's a little lopsided a bit, I could probably make this one tighter, but just for demonstration purposes I tied them together so it was easier, probably pull it down like that and then it would be more even. And then next step you want to do is tie in these, there's going to be two pieces down here if it's a high roller pocket, unless you want me to cut this and just make a knot and melt it so that you only have to put one through just because some people might not have as many holes this thing has like 15 holes on the side so it doesn't matter for me but I'm just gonna do the same thing but now I have two sidewall holes so I'm just gonna send one through here and then I'm gonna send the other one that was on top through this one let me see oh that's a knot angle so then I'm just gonna take these two and knot them off so, just tie the basic 
knot. You want to make sure that you kind of keep a good tension, not too tight pulling the rest of it towards it. Just enough to take off any excess so that this knot or this double interlock doesn't become loose. And let me tie one more like this. I like to hold it with my thumb. Generally keeps it in place very well. And then I'm going to take this. Now we're going to go on to the leathers. So as you can see, four leathers in the pocket. And I've got four holes down here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to and ignore this other side. It's okay about these, but I'm just going to take these. And I'm going to feed this one through first. You might need pliers for this. And you just kind of pull it through here. These, these are big enough so I don't need to. And I just pull it through right here. Not too tight, but just enough so where there's no slack. Then I'm going to do the same with this one, this the middle one. This is, and then you're just going to send it through, and make sure that you're not you don't have like a twist in it, so it's not like this. And you're feeding it through; it needs to be flat, okay? Generally, it'll be the rough side, not like the shiny, like the actual leather side. The back of the leather is the side that you're going to be looking at if you're doing it upside down like this. So it's going to be like this. And you're going to wiggle it through. And then you're just going to pull it through until it's tight. Generally with these pockets, it's going to be about an half an inch to a quarter of an inch away. Like when I string them, I want to keep them nice and close. And then the next one, I'm just going to send it through. I'm just going to make sure that it's not twisted. Send it through. and pull it nice and tight. If you have pliers, it'll make it a lot easier. And just kind of take the pocket, kind of stretch it out a little bit, just to see, just like pound the pocket in, just to make sure that you don't have any slack or it's not too tight, because the pocket will kind of shape naturally. And then you'll do the last one. So I'm just gonna take it, feed it through, right here making sure that nothing is tangled, pull it nice and tight, and pound the pocket, just to make sure that everything settles in. And there you go. So this is a video on how to install the uh, poker chips. As you can see, this settled in nicely. It was already strung up in this pocket, so it didn't, or this head, so it didn't really make much of a difference, but it still kept its shape. Nothing really, ha nothing happened to it. Everything's nice and like, and nothing changed. I'll be stringing these in universal heads, so that uh, you, I won't be stringing it in a high school head, so that if you stick it in a universal head, it won't be too shallow of a pocket, and it'll settle properly. And if it's a, if, well, since I'm stringing it in an H or in a universal pocket or a head, sorry, mix this up. Since I string this in a universal head, that means that if you put one of these in a high school spec head it's going to be a little deep so that's why you're going to have to adjust these you're just going to want to generally you can leave these two alone unless and then you can just take these two and generally you just pull this a little bit down and it'll change the depth of the pocket it won't do a lot and you'll have to wait for everything to settle back in but once you get it um, settled in it'll be a great pocket so thanks for watching guys i'll be coming out with a video on my gamer which is right behind me i'll do an in-depth view of it and thanks for watching subscribe don't forget to subscribe to youtube and i'll put my instagram below thanks guys